Black Widow is one of the most skilled assassins in the world, so naturally I think she'll be a great fit for Dungeons and Dragons. As always, there is a link in the description if you'd like to see a PDF of the character sheet. The main areas I want to focus on with this build are Natasha's dexterity-based combat ability and experience with martial arts, as well as her extremely high stealth ability, which will be reflected in my class choices. Black Widow is also a skilled hacker and expert with technology, which isn't as prominent in a lot of the worlds used in D&D. I could give her some magical knowledge instead, but I don't think it fits with the themes of the character. So I'm mainly going to give her a large variety of skills to represent her technical intelligence. Natasha is of course a human, which suits our purposes fine. As a human, we will get an increased two stats, a skill and a feat, which I will cover later in the video. For class choices, we will be starting with Rogue, and putting three levels into it, which will give some starting skills and expertise which I'll go over later in the video. We will also get Thieves Cant and Sneak Attack, which will be very beneficial for the character's fighting style, allowing for additional damage. Then there's Cunning Action, which allows you to dash, disengage, or hide as an additional action. For subclass, we will be starting with my obligatory Mastermind could be good, but only really at high levels. Then Inquisitive would maybe be a good choice as well, but I think that Assassin is the natural fit for Black Widow. Being an Assassin gives proficiency in the Disguise and Poisonous Kit, as well as the ability Assassinate, which gives us advantage on any attacks against opponents that have not had a turn in combat yet. This will help with sneak attacks, allowing the character to deal large amounts of damage in single strikes. Next, we will be putting one level into Monk, to cover Natasha's unarmed combat abilities. This gives us the feature Martial Arts, allowing for additional attacks with certain weapons. Black Widow has a slightly weaker version of Super Soldier Serum, making her a very physically capable person, which fits with the Monk class great. Finally, we will be taking two levels in Fighter, giving Second Wind and Action Surge, which will improve our general combat abilities. Then a fighting style, for which I would recommend two-weapon fighting, allowing us to add our ability modifier to both attacks. Any additional levels you get will want to go into Rogue or Fighter. While Monk is useful to get martial arts, the key-based abilities introduced from level 2 don't really fit with the character. If you're going to be focusing more on stealth, then Rogue is of course the better choice, and Fighter if you're going to be more active in open combat. For starting equipment, we will be using the Rogue options, and taking two short swords, then a burglar's pack. We also get some leather armor, two daggers, and thieves tools. The short swords are being used to represent Black Widow's batons, mainly because they are monk weapons, meaning that they can be used with martial arts. I've also created a homebrew item based on the Widow's Bite weapon. The weapon will function like a modified hand crossbow, but now it's attached at the wrist, meaning it doesn't have to be drawn. The weapon has less range and damage than a crossbow, but can stun opponents and deals lightning damage. The Widow's Bite is also counted as light, meaning that it can be easily dual wielded. Finally, the weapon can be used as both ranged and melee, meaning that it will receive no negative effects when being used in close quarters. The ability scores that you will want to prioritize are Dexterity and Charisma, to help with general skills and combat. Then Wisdom and Intelligence will be useful for skills, and finally Strength and Constitution won't be very important. Also, for multi-class purposes, we need to have a dexterity and a wisdom of at least 13 each. Black Widow's background leaves us with a couple of options. Charlatan and Soldier could potentially fit, but I think that the spy variant of Criminal fits better. The personality traits I chose are on screen, and for alignment we have radically different choices depending on where in her life the character is. When working as an assassin for the KGB and later S.H.I.E.L.D., I think Lawful Neutral or even Lawful Evil fits. However, as an Avenger, she starts to act much more morally, so Neutral Good would be what I would pick. For skills, we get Deception and Stealth from our background, as well as four rogue skills. I took Acrobatics, Insight, Persuasion, and Sleight of Hand. 
Then we get one more skill due to our human race. I would recommend taking Perception. We get two Expertise skills, allowing for double proficiency. I took Deception and Stealth. Then finally we have two feats we can take. I went for Skulker to improve our Stealth. And also Skilled, taking Athletics, Investigation and Intimidation. If you want your character to reflect Natasha's range of languages and skill at codebreaking, then taking Linguist could be a better option. That's everything I have for this character. Be sure to click one of the cards if you want to see a playlist of Marvel characters that I've made, or a video on some homebrew weapon mechanics.